friends, it's Cheryl from Car Caribou Country Lifestyle. I'm just here in my chicken coop and we picked up our meat bird chicks. Uh, we picked them up three days ago, so they're about four or five days old. And today I've decided I'm going to, I like to check them once a week and look them over, make sure everything looks good. But one thing I'm looking for is to make sure that uh, the term is called pasty butt. So I'm just making sure that their bum is clean and it doesn't have any poop stuck to it. Because if that vent area gets plugged, it can really cause some <laughs> major damage to them and they could end up dying if I don't have that area cleaned. So I have a bowl of warm water with a little bit of biodegradable dish soap. Just a, you know, a couple of drops of dish soap mixed with it and a wet cloth. And then I also have a dry cloth to dry them off after I've had to clean them. So I check each of them individually just to make sure. I was kind of scanning uh, them and didn't really see too much going on so I'm going to grab one of the chicks and we'll take a look. We have two varieties of chicks. This one here that I have, this is a western rustic and it is a type of a meat bird that is slow growing. We also have uh, the broiler chicks which is a Cornish cross and we ended up getting 15 of the Western Rustics and we also got 15 of the Cornish Cross, the broilers. So what I do is I tip them upside down and this one, I've tipped it upside down and it's bent, looks really good. There's nothing going on, no blockage at all. And I'm just gonna put them down in the little box that we got the chicks when we received them. Okay, so this one is one of the broiler, the Cornish Cross, and they don't, the Western Rustics have more parts of brown on them, whereas the Cornish Cross, they're basically a pale yellow, and then they will lose their fluffiness once their feathers start coming in. I notice on the wings, there are some of the feathers. So I'm gonna take a look. And this one looks really good too. When we receive the chicks, we actually, they send us one extra of each of the different breeds. So we ordered 15 of each. In, re in reality, we got 16 of each. They send you one extra just in case there's any mishaps. Pretty fast when they want to be. Oh, see, okay. So this one, here, I don't know if you can see what a dirty little bum that one has. So that one I have to clean up. So I'm going to grab my cloth with my warm water and I'm just going to moisten the area and just keep wiping until it loosens off. and get it quite wet. And that's the reason why you want to be checking them each week, just to make sure that it doesn't get too bad. I'm just, I got a pretty good hold on them. Of course, they're acting like I'm really torturing them but I'm just trying to loosen that off. And then once it starts getting looser off the little downy fluff that they have, then it'll eventually come off. So I'm getting it loose. I've loosened off one chunk and there's one more piece. Oh, there it goes. And then I just getting that last little bit off of there and then I got that 
and then I'm going to dry it. And I'll put this one in the box with the others. A uh, couple of little brooders. These, and what they are is it's a heat plate underneath and they go under there to keep themselves warm. We also have a heat lamp too because we found that they weren't going under the brooders. I gotta check under, I have two brooders. So I'm gonna check under this one. No. Nope. So I'll put this other one back. So that's not too bad. I only had one that I had to clean up their bums, so that's good. And that's just something that I need to do on a regular basis to check them out. And so now I'm gonna put them back. I just put them in the little box that they came in, just so then I know I've checked out all of them. And so putting them back is a lot easier than trying to get them out of this space. And then another thing I wanna do while I'm out here is I'm going to give them fresh water and I put a little splash of an organic apple cider vinegar into their water. Not very much, you know, probably maybe a half a tablespoon or something in the amount that the one that I water feeder, the water that I have for them is a two liter waterer and I just put a little splash of apple cider vinegar and that just helps with um, building up their immunities and um, plus for any viral or infection or anything it helps it's easy on their bellies too for digestion as well and I'm also going to fill up their uh, feed we get them a chick starter from our local feed store the Cornish cross they will be ready to be processed in anywhere in between around 10 weeks and the western rustics they're just a slower growing so it's a smaller um, bird it's just you probably average around three or four pounds for the western rustics when it's time to process them but with the broilers you're getting more along the five six seven pound mark so that's a pretty nice size um, chicken to be able to and there's we have a family of there's three of us but I entertain a lot so a lot of times I'm having anywhere in between eight to twelve people here at any given time so next I am going to do their water and also I'm going to fill up their chick starter with their chick feed we just buy these little feeders and they're really easy to use. These tops just pop open and inside there's quite a bit of pine shavings and little chick poop. So I pick that stuff out. Pick out all of that out of the feed and then I just add more feed. I just make sure I get all of the poop and the pine shavings out of their feed. A lot of the pine shavings, if you just blow on it like that, they'll just blow right out. And then I have my chick starter right here. just take a scoop 
and I'll just add it on top. And then it just closes again. And I'll put that back down. Right there. And then I just have to fill up their water. I have I filled up their water, I put a splash of apple cider vinegar in there, and then I'm just gonna dump it, tip it upside down, right side, and then it starts glugging out, and I'm just gonna put that in there for them. Give you a quick little look at what we got going on here. So we have the water, they got their chick starter, we got their brooders, and then I also have a heat lamp there, and I'm going to lower that right down over this little spot here so that they have added warmth. Just going to lower the heat lamp, and then I'm done. Pretty easy peasy. Chicks are easy to look after.